Virgo. Welcome to your June 1st to the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be having bi-monthly tarot readings. If you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. So you'll be the first to watch it. Also, I just launched a brand new website. You can view that in the description box below. Um, so let's get started, shall we? So what is the central theme of Virgo's reading for June 1st through the 15th of 2018? Gentleness. Gentleness. There's a lot of peace, hope, purity. There's grace and gentleness. There's beauty, a lot of beauty here, a lot of um, dignity. There's dignity here. What's presently affecting Virgo? June 1st to the 15th. And that actually, Virgo is the maiden. Doesn't that look like the maiden? It's basically just saying that it's confirming that that's meant for you. So what's presently affecting Virgo June 1st? Ooh, there it is. Oh, so we have the fool. So we have gentleness and then this is all about innocence. It's a brand new beginning. It's childlike wonder. It's, um, kind of being foolish, a little reckless, you know, running right off the cliff, but you're so pure in doing that because you have that white flower that you're holding and you just don't care. You're just jumping off into a new adventure. What's crossing? And that's Aries. The fool is Aries energy. So what's crossing Virgo presently? What's crossing Virgo presently? What's crossing Virgo presently? What's crossing Virgo presently? Okay, so I have the three of pentacles. So we're back in your energy. We're back in this earth energy. So the three of pentacles is about teamwork, uh, collaboration. This is Capricorn energy. So it's about being efficient, it's about being economical, um, it's about hard work, putting in hard work in new, new beginnings, new starts, new adventure. You're putting hard work into a new adventure presently. So when the past is affecting Virgo, and I have the Five of Swords. And it's in the upright. So there was conflict, tension, defeat, uh, win at all costs, betrayal. This is Aquarius energy. So it's very rebellious, uh, very detached, very impersonal energy, very cold energy. It, it really conflicts with what's presently happening. So there's a lot of conflict from the past into your present. What else in the past is affecting Virgo? What else in the past is affecting Virgo? Okay, so we have more swords energies, which is conflicting with your present. We have the seven of swords in the reverse. So the seven of swords is being um, caught out. There's challenges, breaking habits. Again, this is Aquarius energy. Um, but Aquarius also brings the star after the destruction of the tower. Um, so that's all about hope, renewed faith, a light at the end of the tunnel. But here I'm getting a lot of rebellious activities, a lot of being detached, a lot of um, being very impersonal, being independent. <laughs> In the past, um, there's major betrayal here in conflict. What is Virgo's biggest fear? 
What is Virgo's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What is Virgo's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What is Virgo's biggest fear? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. So, again, we're getting this air energy, uh, which can be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We're getting major Aquarius energy. So, the Ace of Swords is about uh, power, victory, mental clarity, your biggest fear. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Virgo's biggest fear? Why is the Ace of Swords here for the So we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's major conflict here because um, air and earth energy, they don't mix. This is earth energy. This is your energy. Um, the eight, this is actually Virgo. So the eight of Pentacles, there's perfectionism. There's a lack of ambition or focus. So you have mental clarity that there's a lack of focus what does virgo truly hope for june 1st through the 15th of 2018 what does virgo truly hope for june 1st through the 15th of 2018 does virgo truly hope for june 1st the 15th of 2018 that's too many Virgo truly hope for June 1st through the 15th, 2018. So you hope to get out of a self-enclosed prison. We have the Eight of Swords in the upright. So that's about isolation, imprisonment, uh, limited beliefs. And this is Gemini. Again, we have this, this um, air energy, this communication, this um, social energy of air and this is a self-enclosed prison you're doing it to yourself you can easily get out of it yourself um, so you hope to be able to escape from this met it's, it's like a mental prison it's a it's a mental prison how does Virgo truly see themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018. How does Virgo truly see themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018? How does Virgo truly see themselves June 1st? Okay, so you see yourself as the chariot. You see yourself as the chariot reverse. So this is a major life event. You see yourself as someone who is um, determined, who has a lot of self-discipline, who's coming out of codependency. You see yourself as somebody who's very nurturing, somebody who's very sympathetic, somebody who's very domestic, somebody who's very emotional, somebody who's very intuitive. That's how you're viewing yourself. How do other people view Virgo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. So other people are viewing you as somebody who's very restless, somebody who's very social and communicative, but very restless. What's coming towards Virgo June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's coming th towards Virgo June 1st through the 15th of 2018? All right, so I see you have friendships that are coming towards you. Um, community. There's community and friendships here. So that's good. It's like girl time. What's the outcome for Virgo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What's the outcome for... Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's good luck. There's... Um, Uh, unexpected rewards, good timing. 
And whatever happens is going to be fair and just and in your favor. If there's any legal matters, it's fair, just, and in your favor. We have Libra, and then we have Sagittarius energy again here. So we have a lot of Aquarius energy here. We have your energy. I have a Cancer, and I have a Libra. Any other advice? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Any other advice for Virgo? June 1st through the 15th, 2018. Any other? All right, so I see that you need to trust. And sometimes it can feel like a weakness to trust, but sometimes you just need to give up and, and trust in the universe, um, give up control. I see that there's a period of reflection that is needed, so you need to take some time and reflect. And that actually marries well with this card. This is all about rest and reflection, so you need to take some time to meditate and reflect. And there's going to be some new beginnings, some brand new beginnings, new starts. And it's going to bring about peace which goes back to the central theme. Um, we, had th we had the doves. The central theme was gentleness. So we have gentleness and we have peace. Well, Virgo, thank you for joining me today. Um, this was your reading for June 1st through the 15th of 2018. I'll be having bi-monthly tarot readings, so uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also in the description box below, I just launched a brand new website, and um, go and check that out. It's really cool. And thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a comment. Let me know if this resonated with you. Have a wonderful day, Virgo.